Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Sewing threads, those tiny, seemingly insignificant strands that hold the fabric of our lives together. But have you ever stopped to wonder about the journey these threads take before they end up in your sewing kit? Join us as we unravel the fascinating history of sewing threads, from ancient origins to modern manufacturing. Our story begins in ancient times, where the art of spinning fibers into thread was already well established. In the cradle of civilization, from the banks of the Nile to the fertile plains of Mesopotamia, our ancestors discovered the transformative power of fibers, nature's raw bounty, waiting to be spun into threads of possibility. In civilizations like ancient Egypt, spinning was a reverent craft, with skilled artisans transforming plant fibers like flax and cotton into delicate threads using hand spindles and spinning wheels. With deft hands and keen intellect, they honed the craft of spinning, transforming strands of flax, cotton, and wool into threads that would clothe emperors and peasants alike. Across the ancient world, from Mesopotamia to China, spinning and weaving were essential skills passed down through generations. The earliest threads were spun from natural fibers found in the environment, such as animal hair, plant stems, and even insect silk. These threads were used not only for clothing, but also for creating textiles for trade and religious ceremonies. As the centuries passed, the demand for textiles grew, leading to the rise of medieval European textile guilds and workshops. Here, spinning and weaving were central to the production process, with threads often spun from wool, silk, or linen. These threads not only adorned the clothing of the elite, but also found their way into the tapestries that adorned castles and cathedrals. Meanwhile, in the bustling markets of the Silk Road, traders exchanged precious silks and spices, fueling a global economy connected by threads of commerce and culture. The dawn of the Industrial Revolution brought about a monumental shift in thread production. Steam-powered machinery revolutionized the spinning process, enabling the mass production of threads on a scale never before imagined. Factories sprung up across Europe and North America, churning out threads faster and more efficiently than ever. The invention of the spinning jenny by James Hargreaves in 1764 and the spinning mule by Samuel Crompton in 1779 further accelerated the industrialization of thread production. These machines allowed for the simultaneous spinning of multiple threads, greatly increasing output and lowering costs. As a result, textiles and clothing became more affordable and accessible to a wider range of people. Fast forward to the present day, and the production of sewing threads has reached unprecedented levels of sophistication. Advanced machinery and technology allow for the precise spinning of threads from a myriad of materials, including polyester, nylon, and even metallic fibers. These threads find their way into everything from everyday garments to high-tech textiles used in aerospace and medical industries. But the story doesn't end there. Innovations in thread manufacturing continue to push the boundaries of what's possible. From eco-friendly threads made from recycled materials to threads infused with antimicrobial properties, the future of sewing threads is brighter and more exciting than ever before. As we draw the threads of our journey to a close, we find ourselves standing at the crossroads of history and innovation where the ancient art of spinning meets the cutting edge of modern technology. Through the ebb and flow of time, sewing threads have remained steadfast, bridging the chasm between past and present, tradition and progress. 
From the earliest civilizations to the bustling factories of today, the story of sewing threads is one of resilience, adaptability, and ingenuity. It is a tale woven into the very fabric of human civilization, a testament to our innate desire to create, to connect, and to leave our mark on the world. As we look ahead to the future, the possibilities for sewing threads are boundless. From sustainable materials that tread lightly on the earth, to revolutionary technologies that push the boundaries of what is possible, the next chapter in the story of sewing threads promises to be as captivating as those that have come before. So the next time you pick up a spool of thread, take a moment to pause and reflect on the journey it has taken, from the ancient civilizations of yore to the modern marvels of today. For in that seemingly insignificant strand lies the essence of human history, a thread of continuity that binds us all together. Thank you for embarking on this extraordinary odyssey through the history of sewing threads. Remember to cherish the threads that connect us, for they are not just the fibers that bind our garments, but the very threads that weave the tapestry of humanity itself. Have you ever paused to consider the humble zipper? That small, everyday convenience we often take for granted has a rich history spanning over a century. Join us on a journey as we unravel the fascinating evolution of zipper manufacturing, from its humble beginnings to its indispensable role in modern life. To understand the zipper's story, we must rewind to the early 20th century. In 1893, Whitcomb L. Judson, an American inventor, patented the clasp locker, an early form of the zipper. However, it was plagued by reliability issues and failed to gain widespread popularity. Judson's clasp locker consisted of a series of interlocking teeth and a sliding mechanism, but its intricate design made it prone to jamming and breaking. Enter Gideon Sundback, a Swedish-American engineer, whose innovative improvements would revolutionize the zipper as we know it. In 1913, Sundback patented the hookless fastener, which featured rows of teeth with a slider that could interlock them seamlessly. Sunback's design laid the foundation for modern zippers, offering a reliable and efficient closure mechanism for clothing, bags, and various other products. But how are zippers actually made? Let's dive into the intricate manufacturing process. Material selection. Zippers are typically made from metal, plastic, or nylon. The choice of material depends on factors like durability, flexibility, and cost. Extrusion. For plastic and nylon zippers, the manufacturing process starts with extruding the raw material into long, continuous strands. Teeth formation. The extruded material is then fed into a machine that molds it into individual teeth, which are precisely shaped and spaced for optimal functionality. Tape production. Meanwhile, fabric tape is produced separately, often through weaving or knitting techniques. This tape will serve as the base for the zipper teeth. Integration. The teeth and tape are then combined using specialized machinery, ensuring a secure and seamless connection. Sliders attachment. The final step involves attaching the slider, which enables the user to open and close the zipper with ease. The slider is carefully engineered to mesh perfectly with the teeth, providing smooth operation. The manufacturing of zippers is a delicate balance of precision engineering and craftsmanship. Each component must meet rigorous quality standards to ensure the final product functions flawlessly. Quality control is paramount in zipper production. Every batch undergoes meticulous testing to detect any defects or inconsistencies. From fashion to outdoor gear, zippers have become ubiquitous in our daily lives, offering convenience and functionality across a wide range of products. As we conclude our journey, 
The history of zipper making is a testament to human ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of innovation. From its humble beginnings as a concept in the late 19th century to the sophisticated manufacturing processes of today, the zipper has evolved into an indispensable component of modern life. Through the visionary efforts of inventors like Whitcomb L. Judson and Gideon Sunback, the zipper emerged as a revolutionary fastening mechanism, offering unparalleled convenience, efficiency, and reliability. Sunback's hookless fastener, patented in 1913, set the stage for the widespread adoption of zippers across various industries and applications. The manufacturing journey of zippers is a complex tapestry of material science, engineering precision, and meticulous craftsmanship. From the selection of raw materials to the extrusion of teeth, integration with fabric tape, and rigorous quality control, each step in the process reflects a dedication to excellence and innovation. Moreover, the evolution of zipper manufacturing mirrors broader societal and technological advancements, reflecting changing fashion trends, consumer needs, and manufacturing capabilities. Zippers have transcended their utilitarian function to become symbols of style, functionality, and modernity, adorning everything from high fashion garments to rugged outdoor gear. As we reflect on the rich history of zipper making, we gain a profound appreciation for the human creativity and collaborative spirit that have propelled this humble invention to global prominence. Whether zipping up a jacket, securing a backpack, or fastening a tent flap, the zipper remains an enduring symbol of human ingenuity and progress. So, the next time you reach for a zipper, take a moment to marvel at the centuries of innovation, craftsmanship, and technological advancement that have gone into its creation. From its humble origins to its ubiquitous presence in our daily lives, the history of zipper making is a testament to the power of human invention to shape the world around us. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the history of zipper making. Buttons, humble yet ubiquitous, they fasten our clothes and adorn our garments. But behind their seemingly simple facade lies a rich history of craftsmanship, innovation, and technology. Join us on a journey through time as we unravel the intricate story of how buttons are made. Our story begins in ancient civilizations, where clothing was often fastened with pins, toggles, or simple knots. It wasn't until around 3000 BCE that buttons, as we know them, began to emerge. Early buttons were typically made from materials like bone, wood, or shell. Archaeological finds from sites like Mohenjo-Daro and Pompeii reveal the craftsmanship of these ancient buttons, showcasing intricate designs and symbols. In medieval Europe, buttons became symbols of wealth and status. Craftsmen known as buttoners meticulously carved buttons from ivory, horn, and metal, often embellishing them with jewels or enamel. The Industrial Revolution marked a turning point in button production. Steam-powered machinery revolutionized the manufacturing process, enabling buttons to be mass-produced with greater efficiency. Factories sprung up across Europe and America, churning out buttons by the thousands. Early machines stamped buttons from materials like brass, pewter, and later celluloid. Today, button production has evolved into a highly specialized industry. While traditional materials are still used, advancements in technology have introduced new materials like plastic, resin, and even recycled materials. Modern button-making processes vary depending on the material. Injection molding, for example, is commonly used for plastic buttons while shell buttons are crafted through intricate carving and polishing techniques. In recent years, 
there's been a growing emphasis on sustainability in button production. Eco-friendly materials and manufacturing methods are gaining traction, reflecting a broader shift towards ethical and environmentally conscious fashion. Technology continues to shape the way buttons are made. From 3D printing to digital design tools, innovation is driving efficiency and pushing the boundaries of button craftsmanship. The history of button making is not merely a narrative of functional fasteners, but a profound reflection of human civilization's evolution, ingenuity, and cultural intricacies. From the rudimentary bone and shell fasteners of ancient civilizations to the ornate, jewel-encrusted buttons of medieval Europe, and from the Industrial Revolution's mechanization to the modern era's focus on sustainability and innovation, buttons have served as silent witnesses to the progression of human society. Through the ages, buttons have transcended their utilitarian purpose to become symbols of status, identity, and artistic expression. They have adorned the clothing of emperors and peasants alike, weaving together stories of wealth, craftsmanship, and fashion trends spanning centuries. The button industry's journey mirrors broader historical trends, from the craftsmanship of artisans to the mass production of the industrial era and the contemporary emphasis on sustainability and technology. As we fasten our garments each day, we are connected to this rich tapestry of history. Each button carries with it a legacy of craftsmanship, innovation, and cultural significance. Whether it's a meticulously carved shell button or a mass-produced plastic fastener, the story of its creation is a testament to human creativity and adaptability. In an era where fashion trends come and go with the blink of an eye, the enduring presence of buttons serves as a reminder of our shared human heritage. They are not merely functional objects, but artifacts of our past, present, and future. As we continue to innovate and evolve, let us cherish the humble button as a symbol of our collective journey through time. So, the next time you fasten your coat or blouse, Take a moment to appreciate the intricate history woven into each tiny but significant button. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.